Hey, I wanted to show you this uh, Proton Mail. That's www.protonmail.com. And this is a super secure uh, email system. It's the most secure out there. The server is stored in a bunker, an ex nuclear bunker where the leadership of Switzerland was supposed to go in the event of a nuclear attack. It's stored in that bunker, a highly guarded bunker in Switzerland. And Switzerland has very tough privacy laws, the strictest privacy laws in the world, in fact. And Switzerland is a neutral country. It does not have allies. It does not have enemies. Even the Nazis, Adolf Hitler, did not invade Switzerland. They did not dare invade Switzerland, and they respected its neutrality. The only way for um, someone in the U.S., like the U.S. courts, they, they can't get into uh, you know Switzerland. They they will not recognize uh, the U.S. courts' orders or their warrants. So everything is stored in Switzerland. In order to get at the server, there is a way, and that's to go through the Swiss courts, and that's extremely tough. But let's say you could successfully navigate the Swiss courts. Um, you know, let's say you did that. It's all encrypted. And the people that run Proton Mail do not have the keys. Only you have the keys to the encryption. So I wanna do a little demonstration here of exactly how this works. Here's my Proton Mail account. I just signed up. It's a free account, by the way. And you can upgrade it for more storage and stuff and, and pay, but it's free. Uh, the basic version is free and it's extremely powerful. So let's take a look here. First, it's all based on a browser, right? And this is like, a, you know, if you use Zimbra, uh, this is a very familiar site here. Um, this is exactly how Zimbra is uh, is used. And it and it's, you know, it looks like a very business oriented, uh, you know, type device. But let's say, let's compose a message here, right? Michael Veda Protonel. And here's, I've got so many email addresses, it's it's not even funny. Use it for different purposes, boring purposes, business and, and the like. But let's take uh, Mike in Manhattan at gmail.com, right? Test. This is a test email. Emac email. This is a test email. Right now, let's go down here to encryption right let's type our password one two three four i don't use one two three four but yeah, this is just um just for this right so we set encryption right we set the encryption now watch expiration time right so what happens is eventually you know the person who sees this email is going to lose access in about uh, a day, I set it for a day. Now, someone could print it out, they could screenshot it, but in a, in the court system, right, um, the courts, the American courts, uh, they're not gonna sit there and take your screenshot or your printout, you know, as verification. They would actually get someone from, who's employed by this company to come in and to testify that this came from their servers. But the thing is, everything on this service is encrypted. And the people who run the service, you know, don't have the keys and they don't have logs. And there's no IP addresses or anything. There's nothing logged with this service. So even if even if they came to court to testify, they wouldn't be able to testify about anything. They would just tell you everything's encrypted, we don't keep any logs, and that's it. But as an additional security measure, right, you can set the expiration time. So it's deleted off of the your email system. Everything's deleted permanently. No backup copies are kept with this. So as some scientists uh, created this email service and they've thought of everything. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to send an email to myself and we'll open it up, right? By the way, this uses a two-factor authentication so you put your password in uh, use two-factor authentication and, and it goes right to your phone actually there is an authenticator app with the codes on the phone 
So you need the phone and you need the password in order to, to get into the account. It's very, very secure, by the way, very secure. So let's check the, um, the email here. So you see I'm very, very boring person here my Amazon orders. And uh, there's an offer received on my six, uh, you know, my one of my items on eBay. I'm very boring. But anyway, let's take a look. Here, this is the email you get. View secure message, right? Message expiration. So when I click on it, up pops, you know, in, a, in the browser, right? So you can see here, it says decrypt message, right? So the, the person has to have the password in order to view the email. Now you can send an unencrypted message, you know, if you like, but you know, if you're doing some private work, right, they, they have to enter the password. So it gives you confidence that the person you sent it to is the only person reading this, you know, decrypt, right? This is a test email expiring in zero days in 23 days, 58 minutes, 25 seconds. So like I said, you can print this out. You can take pictures of it. You can take a video of it, but it's not admissible in court, right? And let's take a look here. There's no IP addresses. So you have no idea where I sent this from. And this, you know, anyone could create this whole thing, you know, on, you know, some kind of Photoshop editing program and stuff. Someone, or, you know, something they, they downloaded off the internet, you know, someone could easily create this and, you know, say, this is it. This is what he sent me. But without someone from Proton Mail to come down and to confidently, um, to confidently say, yes, this came from our servers, right? First, in order to get the, the employee of Proton Mail, remember, they're in Switzerland. So you have to go through the Switzerland courts. You can't go through the USA courts. And even if you got them to come down to testify, even if they were willing and you made it through the Switzerland courts, they couldn't testify about anything because they don't have the codes and they don't log anything. They don't log IP addresses. They don't keep locks. So there's nothing they can testify about. In addition, you set this expiration date, right? And it's totally deleted off the server. So you know, they, they, there's no way they could get through the courts in like two or three days or whatever. Now, there are ways that if somehow the court system in Switzerland ordered Proton Mail to cooperate, right, there, there's ways they could get in. But, you know, let's say this is, this is the most secure email service out there right now. This, there's no better. And it's so much better than Gmail. So, it's all here in the browser and stuff like that. So this is this is awesome, and I want you guys. I want you guys to use this. I want you. I'm gonna sign. I signed up for it. Michael Vaden at protonmail.com, and this will be for you know more sensitive matters besides my uh, my eBay and my Amazon crap. So this will be for uh, you know for more sensitive matters and and stuff like that. So. Um, just want to show you this, uh, this Proton Mail, and I encourage you know everyone to get this type of account for yourself. It's much more secure. Um, and I have enabled, you know, on a side note, I've enabled two-factor authentication on everything from my Amazon account to my Gmail accounts, everything, everything. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Have a good night.